I really, really, really need your help. All right, guys, we have some good news and we have some bad news. I don't really know how to start this or how to go into this. Um, some of you may know that I'm from Montana, um, very specifically a very small town called Red Lodge, Montana. Um, I grew up there, I learned how to skate there, I learned how to make videos there. It's very near and dear to my heart. And before I left that town, I got a skate park built. I brought this with me here today to tell you a little bit of the story. And then we'll get into the good slash bad news and we'll just, you know, we'll go from there, okay? Because I need your help. So this is an article from the Carbon County News, which is the county where Red Lodge is. It is from November 29th in the year 2000. Um, if you've seen any of my old footage, here's a shot of me board sliding a bike rack. It's a bike rack that's off a of three stair. Talented enough to draw corporate sponsors, skateboarder Aaron Cairo has difficulty promoting his sport in the area. Cairo, a junior at Red Lodge High School, has been skateboarding since he was 10 years old. He has won three competitions in Billings and Great Falls and has received corporate sponsorship for the past two years. In exchange for using company products while he competes and sending pictures back to his sponsors, Cairo receives monetary compensation as well as monthly product packages. I don't think I ever got any money, so probably that's not so true on the monetary compensation, but I did get lots of free gear, which was super cool. His sponsors include a skateboard shop in Billings, as well as Bones Wheels, Red's Bearings, and Grand King Trucks all skateboard companies located in California. Since most of his sponsors encourage him to compete in larger competitions in order to gain more exposure, Cairo only competes once or twice a year, the closest being located at Vancouver, Canada. Also kind of funny because I never really had a lot of attention on competitions. I did a few competitions when I was younger, but it was mostly making videos like you see us do here. Same, same situation, but the whole situation with the skate park, super, super, super true. Um, because in this small town of Red Lodge, Montana, there's not really anywhere to go. There's like a five stair that we skated. There's like some manual pads. Everything is pretty rough. The summers are very hot. The winters are ice cold. There's snow. You know, it's a rough Montana place to learn how to skateboard. It, it just is. That's what it is, right? So he says, as a member of Red Lodge Youth Council, Cairo promotes the need for a skateboard park in the area through the skateboard park committee, but is only in the planning stages of developing a community skateboard park. Cairo believes many times skateboarders are blamed for damage done by others because they are sighted in the area. We would go and we would skate these places and then we would be told, it's a very small town, everybody knows everybody, so a window would get broken. And then people would say, that was the skaters, that was those, those dang skaters, they were doing that. And Maybe somebody was, I wasn't aware of it, but I don't think it was us. And you know, you never know. It just, it just is what it is. But despite even that situation, people need a safe place to go and skateboard and being able to advance in their sport. It's, it's super important, right? Although skateboarding has often received a bad reputation, Cairo believes the sport benefits kids in the community. Yes. It does benefit kids in the community. It does, it does, it does. Skateboarding gives kids something to do, said Cairo. It helps develop determination and drive. He added that it takes a lot of practice to develop skateboarding skills, and it is made harder because it requires individual effort. So you're not out there with a coach being told, hey, you have to do this. You're out there with yourself, telling yourself, hey, I need to do this. You might skate with your friends and you might have a group of people that you go with, which is great, but at the end of the day, you're gonna progress because you're progressing yourself. And I think that's important. And I think it teaches life lessons. You know, I've spent a long time building up Braille to be what it is and working so hard on all of these videos. And if I didn't have that skateboarding background, I would have given up a long time ago. It would have been just too hard. It would have been impossible. We're gonna fast forward to 
this article from the Billings Gazette. Billings Gazette article was major. This was on the front page of the paper. It's titled, Getting It Done, Celebrate Community. Aspiring skateboarders look up to Aaron Cairo, who not only is an accomplished boarder, but has been influential in establishing a town skateboard park in Red Lodge. If skateboarding had a face, it would be that of 18-year-old Aaron Cairo. So hilarious to read this. Cairo, a senior at Red Lodge High School, spent a year chairing a Boys and Girls Club youth council that worked with the Red Lodge City Council to build a town skateboard park. It opened in late September. So the early article is me talking about how we need a skate park in this small town of Red Lodge, and then it fast forwards to the Billings Gazette article where we actually got it done. So the story was that I, I worked with the Boys and Girls Club and like it says, the Youth Council and City Council. I put together a plan, a whole proposal. I went to City Council, I sat in front of them and I gave my whole from the heart talk about this is why Red Lodge needs a skateboard park. And I found a plot of land that nobody was using. It was city land. And I asked them, can we please have this land? And they ended up giving me $25,000 and the land. And then I wrote another grant, a separate grant, and the grant gave me $10,000. So basically we had $35,000 and a plot of land, which was pretty good. We did a cement slab, just totally flat. And then the weather there is so intense and you have this, these crazy temperature changes. So no wood ramps will, will make it in this environment. So I got these metal ramps, this pyramid, I, there's this bank. And then I decided, well, the thing I like to skate most is a ledge. So I got this, what's called a butter bench, very smooth. I learned a lot of tricks on this. And then a flat bar, a flat bar in the park. And that was the whole park, it's very, very minimal. Um, we spent every cent of that $35,000 very fast. It's one of those things that it's then there for kids in the community to use forever. And I swear this little skate park in this little town changed the, the perception of skateboarding, which I think is so key. And I think that we need to do that in a lot of other towns as well which is part of like why I started the First Try Foundation, why I wanted to do this video. I've been thinking about doing skate parks for a long time. Um, the opportunity just never came up until, well, just recently, which I guess we could start getting into the bad news. Well, fast forward, let's see, that was in what, 2001? Yeah, Wednesday, April 5th, 2001, the article says skateboard park is now a reality. So, 19 years have gone by. Now the skate park is in a condition that looks like this. Um, the metal ramps are still there. They have held strong, quite awesome that they are still standing at all. So fast forward all the way down to where we are now. Um, some of the ramps have holes, the metal's coming up, it's not in a good condition. And the city does not have enough money to keep pouring into the skate park to keep getting it updated and rebuilt. And if it continues going in this direction, the park will be not safe. There will be screws sticking up and pieces of metal sticking up that kids can fall on and hurt themselves and they will have to shut it down. So we cannot shut it down, but we have to actually put a full park there. We basically have to demolish everything that's there and rebuild a full cement park from scratch. I did a trip down to um, VidCon and I saw this guy with a t-shirt. It's B-O-M-B. And this is like, this is, a, this is a Montana thing. It stands for Board of Missoula Brand. And I saw his shirt and I was like, Board of Missoula Brand. Instantly like, you're my friend. <laughs> you're from Montana, I'm from Montana. And it, it turns out that that guy, his name is Andy, and he's part of the Montana Skate Park Association. So we sat down, we started getting talking, and he was telling me about the Montana Skate Park Association, all the things that they're doing, and they got some amazing skate parks built in Montana, just amazing. The Montana Skate Park Association works with this company called Evergreen, um, and they build the most amazing skateboard parks. 
So just take a look at some of these parks, this evergreen park that was built. They've built many of these all over Montana. It's really changing the perception of skateboarding in the state. It's also giving kids just a place to go, a safe, good place that they can go and skateboard at. I think that's super, super important because I grew up in the town and I, I knew what it was like. You're either gonna play football or basketball, which is fine. I actually played basketball, I was very good at it. Or do something else. Um, I loved the independence of skateboarding. I loved that it. it gave me that thing that it was my own personal drive, whether I'm going to do it, get better, improve. So having a skate park, really, we should have a skate park in every town in Montana. Every city should have it. So the kids have that option. They can go, well, I could either play football or basketball or I could go skateboard. Trying to build a fresh new, brand new skate park, working with the city council in Red Lodge. They have basically the same thing that we had when I was there, a little group of kids that are like, we need a new park, we gotta do this, and we're all gunning for it and making it go. I need your help, I need your help because we need to fund this thing. It's going to get shut down if we don't make some major changes and get the park rebuilt. Anything that you can do would be amazing. All of the proceeds from this video will go straight to this skate park and anything that you guys can, can give would be incredible. We're trying to raise $200,000 that will put the park there, that will fully fund it. It will be a completed done cycle. You know, it's bigger than all of us. We're putting a skateboard community there. We're saying this park is not going to get shut down. It's going to be there. It's going to put skateboarding on the map in this town forever. It's not something that the city has to keep like re going and trying to fix everything. And it's just, it, it does create big, big changes, big effects. People's viewpoints of the sport of skateboarding changes kids will come out of there that will be future skateboarding incredible skaters that you will look at and go wow how did he get so good well he had a place to go when he was a kid he had a place to skate it's a huge 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 deal so i'm asking you from the bottom of my heart anything that you can do there is a link you can go right to the link in the description below or this page right here and anything that you can give would be so, 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 so amazing. I'm personally going to be working on this very hard. You will definitely be hearing a lot more about it on all of the Braille social media platforms. And we're gonna get this park there. That's it. But I really, really, really need your help. If everybody that watched this video gave $5 the price of a Happy Meal, we would be done we would be done with the whole project and it would be absolutely amazing. So guys, from the bottom of my heart to the bottom of your heart, let's put this there for the community. Whenever we come together as a team, amazing things happen, it's amazing. If you don't have any money and you absolutely cannot do anything, you can share this video on your social media platforms and help get the word out. Um, because like I said, all of the proceeds from this video We'll go directly to the skateboard park. And um, yeah, we're gonna be working on this. I cannot tell you how much it means to me um, because it means, it means a lot. I need your help, let's go. Go to the page, give whatever you can, share this video, help us get this message out. It's time to go. We got to change the face of skateboarding. Not only in Red Lodge, not only in Montana, in the world. Let's go Braille Army. Check out all those videos right there. Subscribe, like, leave a comment below. And you, yes, you, it's time for you to learn how to ride a skateboard. Let's go.